Hello, and welcome to part one of the Apex Advanced Tutorial Creating a Tabular Form, brought to you by MS Consulting. On the screen is a brief rundown of the requirements and starting point for this tutorial, as well as the location of a full article with much more in depth information. This article and tutorial actually covers Chapter 2 of the official Oracle documentation available from their webpage. In order to create a tabular form or any application, we first need to be in Apex. So you need to navigate to the Apex login page. As I've done here, I've created a favorite in my web browser that I can quickly use to get here. You need to log on with a user that has at least developer level access. And you need to log into the workspace, which has the OEHR sample data installed to it. Here we have our main application developers interface. We're going to be building an application, so we're going to go up to the tabs on the right hand side and we're going to click Application Builder. From here we're going to click on Create to create a new application. And we're going to click Create Application and click Next. and we need to give it a name so we're going to call it tabular form we're going to let Apex decide the application identifier number we're going to be creating it from scratch and we need to select the schema in which the OEHR sample data has been installed to in this case consult when that's all set we go ahead and click next We now have to add the pages to it. Now there is a form here to add a tabular form directly to it. However, that kind of defeats the purpose of the tutorial. So we're just going to add a blank page. So once the page has been added, we then go ahead and click on Next. We only need one level of tabs for this. So we make sure that's selected and then click Next. It's going to ask if we want to copy any shared components from another application. We don't need that for this tutorial, so we just click Next. Attributes, we want to make sure that the application express is selected for the authentication, and we don't need any changes to the date format. and it's going to ask us what visual theme we want. We want theme number two. And we click Next. And then it will ask us to verify our selections. And then we just click the Create button to create the application. This will create the application as well as an automatic login screen. As we can see here. Now that we're in the application and it has been created, you can see at the top that it is application 102 and that its name, as specified above the stoplight there, says tabular form. Now we're going to actually add a new page to this that's going to contain our form, so we're going to say create page. And we're going to click on form. and then we're going to select tabular form and we're going to make sure that the table or view owner is consult and that the allowed operations is update insert and delete this drop down box allows you to have some level of control over what the end user is going to be allowed to do with this form when it's completed we have to give it the table name of where it's going to get its data from you can either type it in or you can click this uh, up arrow button that's next to it what this does is this will list all tables that the apex system can find in the current schema and we're going to scroll down till we find OEHR employees and click that that will automatically insert it into the box and we can click next 
It's just a nice little tool that helps cut down on typographical errors. Here we're going to select the columns that we want displayed in the form. So we're going to select first name, then click and hold the control button while we select last name, hire date, salary, and finally department ID. And then we're going to click next. We're then going to tell it if there's any changes to the primary key. In this case, there's no changes to it. We're going to use employee ID, even though that column is not displayed in the form itself. We're going to use the existing trigger. Now we can select the updatable columns. We need all of them selected, but this is where you can further limit what the end user can do. This is basically determines what the end user will be able to edit when they use the form. Click Next. And here we have some attributes for the page. You can leave the page number as is. The page name we're going to change to tabular form. And you can leave the region title and region template and report template the same. The option at the bottom is for breadcrumbs. Up above this area you'll see the line that has a series of caret marks pointing to the right. This is called the breadcrumb region. It allows you to quickly be able to navigate backwards exactly how you got to the page you're on. It's a neat little, fe it's a neat little feature of Apex, but we don't need it for this. And then we're going to say do not use tabs. Now we can change the way our default buttons are labeled. We're going to change the submit button to say apply changes. And then we're going to click next. Then it's going to say branching. We're going to leave it as is. This allows you to define what page the application will go to when the apply changes button is clicked. Then it's going to ask us to confirm our choices and selections and we're going to click finish and it's created now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here click run and we'll run the application the first time you log into it or each time you log into it it will ask you for a username and password since we're in developers mode we also have the editing developers bar underneath this this bar will show up on every page that we go to since we are, as I said, in the developer's mode. Oh, and like all good login screens, it catches you when there's a mistake. So we'll fix that and actually log into the system. And here we have our completed tabular form where we change the button name. You can see that we have individual rows that can be selected and edited and and do quite a bit with this. We also have a built-in drop-down box to select more rows that aren't there. In the next part of this tutorial, we will take and will extend the capabilities of this form.